And now, back to City Gridiron. Head coach Danny Lamberg, Erasmus Hall. Wayne Morgan has to be the highest recruited kid out of coming out of Erasmus Hall in the longest. The last time we had a guy like that was Sean Lee, who played for the San Diego Chargers in the mid-80s. Um, before that, it had to be Sid Luckman, who played in the 30s and 40s for the Chicago Bears. Wayne Morgan, Erasmus Hall, number two, quarterback, safety, corner. He's a great athlete. He's a strong kid. He's tremendous athleticism. He's extremely tough. Michigan, Syracuse, Rutgers, UConn, Pitt, Maryland, Miami, hopefully South Carolina, Alabama. No, right now, I'm not even really focused on that right now. I'm just focused on my season right now. I'm trying to get a championship. But I think about it sometimes and I don't really know. Like it's hard. Sharon Ellis Morgan, I'm Wayne's mother. That's my MVP. It's up to him right now. Okay, he's the one that's gonna be out there. So I give him to make that choice and I go with him. You know, I listen to ESPN all day and they always talk about that it factor. You know, he's one of those guys that kinda just has it. Wayne Morgan is getting better and better and better. You know, we have to get him into mentality of quarterback. You know, he likes to, he loves to play defense, but he has to understand that here he's a quarterback before a defensive back. I got to prove my arm, basically, because everybody just think I got legs and I can run. I really got an arm, too. Luda Jean Lewis, number eight, outside linebacker, tight end, wide receiver. Luda's the hero. Luda's our, Luda's our, our captain, and we, you know, Luda, he decides what happens around here. Yeah, I broke my leg last year, unfortunately, fourth game of the season. It kind of, like, broke my heart because, like, I really love this game. And I knew it wasn't it, but I just knew it was done for the, I was done for the season. Great thing that happened to Luda, I got to say, in, in, in Taking two steps back was breaking his leg last year because he kind of humbles you. You know, all he's done so far is work so hard in the classroom, in the weight room, as a leader, doing everything he can to better himself as a man. I'm really excited. I've been waiting for this, and I'm hungry. Right now, I'm focused on my schoolwork. Most likely, I might be heading to a prep school before I go to any colleges that is interested in me. Hopefully, by the end of the season, I'll get an offer. Oh, uh, Shaquille Jackson, running back. Shaquille is a hardworking kid. You know, he's very talented, he's very gifted, he's extremely strong. He's got the great desire to be a great running back in college. I just remember going back to the freshman year and going to his class to check up on him, and the teacher's telling me that he's probably the best writer in the whole school as a freshman. So that, to me, showed a high mark of intelligence. Uh, as of right now, I have interest from the University of Connecticut. I have Rutgers, I have Syracuse, I have Boston College. He's got to get his yards and his film and do what is necessary to get that scholarship. Penn State, and I'm trying, I'm trying to get Alabama. That's what, that's what I'm trying to get. Game time, you don't want to get on his bad side. I've been playing with him all my life, and this is our last time. This might be our last season together, so we you know this, this, this season got to be real special. When it comes to things like this, like Football Factory or film or training in the off season, for us it's everything. Our off season training is critical to our season. You can have all the athletes in the world, but if you don't develop those athletes, it doesn't mean anything. The things that we ask them to do right here is work on reflex, we work on multi joint exercises, we work on their stamina, we work on their speed, we work on their check, change of direction. The reason that we also do this is because it builds character. If you put the kid through the ringer and they last, they have a lot more of a mental capacity to be stronger and they can last longer and they'll fight harder. When we train, we train to play four quarters, but we really try to train for five quarters. We believe that if we make practice hard, games should be easier. We're looking for explosion, we're working for changing direction, we're working on the flexibility, working for core body strength. You know, so these are things that are critical for a football player and has nothing to do with football, you think, but it really does. So it's a lot of things that are intangibles that people don't realize when it comes to the game of football that you're not using football in itself. City Gridiron, we'll be right back.